Yo, welcome back to the Snapshot World Cup from Argentina. It's a cocktail. It's called the Argentina Cocktail. One ounce of dry vermouth. One ounce of dry gin. We've got a quarter ounce of triple sec orange liqueur and a quarter ounce of Benedictine. We've got one dash of orange bitters and one dash of Angostura bitters. We're just going to stir it. So we'll take our bar spoon. And for Australia, we have the Death Flip. This is a drink that was first featured in a Melbourne bar in 2010. We're going to start off with a shaker, no ice. One ounce of Blanco tequila. <sighs> Who can you smell? We're going to pour half an ounce of Jaeger right into the shaker as well. Half an ounce of yellow chartreuse. And a quarter ounce of simple syrup. We're going to add in a pinch of nutmeg, and then we're going to add in a whole egg. No oh, way. What? No way. <laughs> Why really? are you doing this, dude? <laughs> no ice. We're just doing a dry shake right now. Yeah, me. I'm going to go ahead and add some ice and reshake it to chill it. Shake then we will double strain this into our coupe glass. It's a little bit of nutmeg. And for Belgium, we have the Black Russian. Now, the Black Russian is the exact same thing as the White Russian, except we took out the cream. Two ounces of vodka. We're just going to pour that straight into our glass. And then we'll add one ounce of Kahlua. Just give it a quick stir. Created by a bartender in 1940 in Brussels, Belgium. Brussels, Belgium. The Caipirinha, the national drink of Brazil. We start off with one lime, we'll cut it into quarters, and then drop it right into our shaker. We'll add two teaspoons of white granulated sugar. Then we'll take our muddler and muddle this drink. We are not murdering, we're not stabbing the drink. This is not a homicide. Push down and give a quarter turn. Push down, quarter turn. Two ounces of cachaça. Then we'll add in some ice, and we'll shake this cocktail very, very well. Directly into our glass. Whoa. And so you have the whole fruit chunks right there in the glass. This is the Caipirinha. Cheers. Enjoy. Drink for Cameroon. This is the Folaire. So to get to this right here, we started off with one medium pineapple. We washed and peeled the pineapple, then we cubed it. We took the cubes of pineapple and the peels of pineapple, and we put it in a big pot. Then we added in three quarts of water, brought that to a boil, and cooked it for 10 minutes. Then after the 10 minutes, we added two cups of hibiscus leaves and then kept boiling it for 10 more minutes. Then after that, we removed it from the heat and let it cool overnight. Then we double strained it and added in two cups of simple syrup. And that got us this mixture right here. One and a half ounces right into the glass. And here you have essentially a hibiscus pineapple tea from Cameroon. the blueberry maple gimlet. We start off with eight blueberries directly into a shaker with no ice. Oh, 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 oh. oh. We've got one ounce of maple syrup for our Canadian drink. Oh, sorry. 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 Oh, sorry, eh? We've got one ounce of fresh lime juice. We muddle this drink. Now, remember when we're muddling, we're not murdering, right? We're not stabbing the beverage. Push down, quarter turn, push down, quarter turn, muddle, don't murder. We've got two ounces of gin. Now we're going to add some ice into our shaker. We muddled those blueberries. We have a lot of blueberry skin in our shaker now, so we're going to double strain this into our coupe glass. We're going to garnish our drink with a lime wedge. And for Costa Rica, we've got the Jaguar Colada. We've got one ounce of white rum, one and one quarter ounces coconut water, one and one quarter ounces passion fruit juice, one and one quarter ounces coconut milk.
Yo, for Croatia, we have the monastery. So we're gonna start off with three fresh, homegrown basil leaves. And we'll add half an ounce of lime juice. Push down quarter turn, muddle, don't murder. Half an ounce of honey syrup into our shaker. Still no ice. We're gonna add one teaspoon of plum preserves. We've got an ounce and a half of Moraska Slavovica plum brandy. Rocky. Making a classic Danish cocktail. This is it's just called the Copenhagen cocktail. That's that's the name. We're gonna start off with one and three quarter ounces of Jennifer. We've also got three quarters of an ounce of cherry hearing liqueur. We've got three quarters of an ounce of lime juice and half an ounce of simple syrup. We'll add one dash of bitters. Oh, I like the look of this. That's like. Looks like mud. We took six cups of water, we took eight cinnamon sticks, and one cup of sugar. We brought the water to a boil, and then we let that simmer for about 30 or 40 minutes. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take one cup of our mixture, we'll pour it into each of these mugs. We will add an ounce and a half of agua de diente to each one of these. This is the Bramble. We're going to start off with two ounces of Beef Eater London Dry Gin. We've got one ounce of lemon juice. And we've got two teaspoons of simple syrup. Chicken up stuff. Then we're going to take half an ounce of ideally creme de mort, but you could also do creme de cassis or chambord uh, if that's easier for you to find. Half an ounce, and we're going to just layer that right on top. We'll garnish this with a lemon wheel and a skewer of blackberries. Ooh. For France, we have the blood orange moon. One ounce of blood orange juice. We've got two ounces of Grand Marnier. I love that sound. How many drink? We've got one ounce of lemon juice. And we've got a quarter ounce of honey syrup. Now to make our honey syrup, we took equal parts of honey and water. We boiled it and then let it simmer for 10 minutes. Honey syrup, quarter ounce. I think we so we'll go ahead and top this drink with just a little bit of club soda. And for Germany, we have the rum lemon Isobar. Shaker, no ice. We're going to take a thick slice of ginger. We're going to go ahead and drop that right into our shaker. Hey! Press down lightly on the ginger. Then we'll add one and a half ounces of light rum and half an ounce of dark rum. We'll add one ounce of elderberry syrup and the juice of one lime. Now we're going to add ice. Remember, we had no ice in the shaker when we started. We're going to add some ice now. Top our beverage with some lemon soda. Then we'll garnish each one of these with three small pieces of ginger. Y'all, for Ghana, we have a drink called Playing Fair. And the main ingredient of Playing Fair is Lemuji. Make our Lemuji, we took two cups of rice, then we covered it in water. We put it in the fridge overnight. And the next morning, we took it out of the fridge and drained the water. And we took the remaining rice, of course, without the water that we had drained out, and we put that in a blender. We added half a cup of ginger, one tablespoon of whole cloves. We took water and filled it up just above the dry ingredients, blended all of that together for 30 seconds. We strained it using a mesh strainer, half a cup of sugar, and strained it one more time. We'll take that and we'll put that right in our rocks glass with a rock. We've got half an ounce of a banana liqueur, an ounce and a half of rum. I love banana, I love rum. Give it a quick stir.
We took three quarters of a cup of water, two cups of sugar. We boiled that until the sugar fully dissolved in that water. We then added one third cup of vinegar and then boiled that whole mixture for five minutes. We then removed it from the heat and then added an entire bouquet of mint. We then let that syrup cool. We took out the mint, of course, and that left us with this syrup right here. We've got three quarters ounce of this syrup right into each mason jar. Two ounces of vodka. Drop a little bit of cucumber in there. Wow. That's right I guess that right. A little bit of mint in each one. Then fill the glass with some water. Go ahead and we'll put the top on the mason jar. Shake her up. Garnish it with a nice old mint sprig. Tail, this right here is the samurai. <gasps> Huh. We're gonna start off, y'all, with three ounces of sake. More room temperature sake. And one ounce of triple sec. This is an orange liqueur. We got oh, a soon. splash, or in this case, a quarter ounce of lime juice, and a splash of sweet and sour. I did not think it was gonna look like that. And for Mexico, we have El Coco Carlos. As you might guess, it involves tequila. We're going to take an orange wedge. We're going to drop it right into a shaker that's got no ice in it. We're going to take one ounce of coconut water, half an ounce of agave syrup, and three quarters of an ounce of fresh lime juice. Then we're going to go ahead and muddle this drink. Now remember, y'all, when we're muddling, what are we not doing? Committing a homicide. Muddle, don't murder. Push down, quarter turn. We're not stabbing this orange. We're gonna add some fresh ice to this. We'll add two ounces of reposado tequila. All right. Yo, for Morocco, we have the Moroccopolitan pomegranate infused vodka. We're gonna use two ounces of this for our cocktail. We've got four drops of bitters. We've got three quarters of an ounce of honey syrup. We've got half an ounce of fresh lemon juice. Now this is a drink we don't have to shake, so we're just gonna go ahead and give it a quick stir. Shake and not stir. the Netherlands. And so this right here, this is the Dutch Velvet. We start off with one ounce of banana liqueur, creme de banana, same thing. Then we'll add one ounce of chocolate vodka. One ounce of clear creme de menthe. So we're going to add four ounces of half and half. Now, we're not done just yet. We're going to go ahead and garnish our drinks with a little bit of shaved chocolate. Is Poland. And for Poland, we have the spiced apple fizz. We have Zubrowka bison grass vodka, an ounce and a half of it into our drink. Then we've got half an ounce of pear brandy, half an ounce of lemon juice, half an ounce of honey syrup. Some down some. We'll top it with hard cider. We'll garnish it with an apple Thank fan you. and a light dusting of cinnamon. Y'all, for Portugal, we have the poncha, sometimes referred to as Madeira Island cocktail. So we start off with one lemon. We'll cut this in half to juice it. And we'll take our peels. We're going to keep using these. They're not trash. Just set them to the side for now. Then we'll juice one orange as well. So we'll set our juice to the side, and we'll cut our lemon peel and orange peel into slices. Once we've done that, we'll drop it into a mason jar. Then we'll add three tablespoons into our jar. Then with the honey and the peels in here, we're going to go ahead and muddle. Then we'll add in our juices. We want to sit in the fridge for two to four hours before serving chilled. Here's what we did so far. This is a coffee-based drink. Three cups of water, boil it. Then we stirred in three tablespoons of ground instant coffee. We put in a pinch of cinnamon, about an eighth of a teaspoon. 
We added a pinch of saffron, also again about an eighth of a teaspoon. An eighth of a teaspoon of ground cardamom, or maybe just a pinch, depending on how you measure. And the zest of half of an orange. So we'll start, we're gonna add half an ounce of Kahlua to each of these espresso cups. And one ounce of Grand Marnier. we have Saudi Arabia and for that we have this drink Saudi champagne so we chopped up one orange we'll add that to this massive pitcher yeah. we chopped up a few mint leaves we'll add that to the pitcher also yeah. we chopped up an apple we squeezed the juice out of two lemons that will take 12 ounces of apple juice we'll put it in the pitcher a can of Sprite 12 ounces and we'll take a whole bottle of champagne and we'll take our handy dandy bar spoon Pour this right into a champagne flute. I don't think so. For Senegal, we are making juice de bisap, that is the national drink of Senegal. So to make this juice de bisap, we took eight cups of water. We brought it to a boil, then we added two cups of hibiscus leaf. Then we turned off the heat and we let it steep for ten minutes. Then we strained out the hibiscus leaves, really just leaving us with essentially a hibiscus water. And from there, you can add a whole number of different ingredients. Here, we added two cups of sugar. We then added vanilla extract, grated ginger root, orange flower water, and lemon juice. Turn all that together, added ice, and set it aside for it to chill. We got all of that done. You know, this is guaranteed full strength. Two ounces right into the glass. Then we'll go ahead and add, of course, our juice de visa. This is essentially a Serbian hot brandy. Ruka Rakia is not a cocktail that you really make behind the bar. You actually kind of just cook the whole thing. So what we did so far is we took half a cup of sugar and we put it in a pan. We turned the heat on and we cooked it just until it was caramelized. Once we reached that golden color, we removed it from the heat and we added one and a half cups of plum brandy, rakia, and three cups of water. Then we stirred it constantly, brought it all the way to a boil, and served it hot. Ladies and gentlemen, Veruka Rakia, Serbian hot brandy. Y'all, for South Korea, we've got the Mango Malona Soju Cocktail. We've got four ounces of soju and four ounces of Sprite. Then we'll take our Malona Mango Bar and stir it right in the drink. Whoa. And for Spain, we have the Asiatico 43. So we're gonna start off with two ounces of sweetened condensed milk. We're gonna use Eagle Brand, of course, America's most trusted. Then we've got three quarters of an ounce of brandy. We're gonna layer that right on top of the sweetened condensed milk. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> then we've got three quarters of an ounce of liqueur 43. We're gonna layer that again right on top now. We're gonna add hot espresso, which is not gonna layer. Then we're gonna add one ounce of evaporated milk on top. We're gonna garnish it with a little bit of cinnamon. And there, ladies and gentlemen, you have the Asiatico 43. This is the Toblerone for, of course, the famous Swiss chocolate. We've got three quarters of an ounce of Godiva chocolate liqueur right into our shaker. We've got three quarters of an ounce of Frangelico hazelnut liqueur and three quarters of an ounce of Bailey's Irish cream. We've got one ounce of heavy cream and half an ounce of honey syrup. I'm gonna take a plate, chocolate syrup. Whoa. Drizzle. I'm gonna grate some fresh Toblerone chocolate right on top. got a Tunisian classic. This is citronade. Three pounds of lemons. We peeled the skin off of the lemon. All of this white pith, we trashed that. The zest we kept. We mixed in one and a quarter cups of sugar, three quarters cups of water. We brought that to a boil and then we let it simmer for 30 minutes. We cut that into small slices. We pulled out all of the seeds. We added the lemons. We let that simmer for an additional 10 minutes. Then we let it 
cool for at least six hours. Two ounces citronade in each one of these glasses. Do we'll add half an ounce of citrus vodka. <laughs> right now for Uruguay, sometimes known as Uruguay. We are making Uruguayan clericot, which is basically a South American sangria. Apples, blueberries, cherries, and we added a little bit of mint. Then we took two tablespoons of sugar, and we let all of that mixture sit together in the fridge for about 20 minutes. Then we added half a cup of sparkling water and a full bottle of white wine. And that got us this right here. We let that chill for a little bit. And for the U.S. of A, we have a classic American cocktail. This right here is, of course, the Brass Monkey. The Brass Monkey. The Funky Monkey. The Brass Monkey has two and a half ounces of fresh lemon juice, one ounce of simple syrup, one ounce of vodka, USA. one ounce of light rum. We'll garnish each of these drinks with, of course, a lemon slice. Cheers to America. Well, then for Wales, we have the Welsh Dragon. We've got three ounces of pineapple juice and three ounces of orange juice. Two ounces of peach schnapps. Two ounces of Midori melon liqueur. Now we'll top each one of these with one ounce of green creme de menthe. Oh. We'll garnish it, of course, with the skewer of cherries for the red dragon and the Welsh flag. You really should like and subscribe. And please do not drink and drive. Cheers till next time.